Hey everybody, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Hope you guys are doing well. Coming to you from inside the RV. A lot has happened in the last one hour here, real time. I need to talk to you about something. Yeah, guys, I hope you're doing well. Uh, this is a developing story here, but um, uh, it, it, it's a video that I, I just kind of have to make right now. I ha Well, I, I say that because I want you to know I don't automatically feel a need to tell you everything negative that happens in my life, uh, whether that's personal or business. There have certainly been some times in my life where I've wanted to share more with you about what's going on behind the scenes, but then I talk to some friends and they're like, yeah, you don't need to mention that on YouTube. And, and I won't. I mean, I've been... I've been I've been wronged by companies before, and I knew that I had the influencer power to, to just make a video and say, this company did me wrong, look what they did. And then, you know, other people would be able to make a better informed decision themselves about that company. However, this one, this is, this is, this is one of the most important videos I've ever made uh, in 10 years on YouTube, honestly. And that is because it involves a company that you've heard me say out my mouth in every single video for over three years now. And this is the last time you're ever going to hear me talk about this company. Yeah. They are also my biggest channel sponsor. They sponsor this channel. And, well, let me just tell you how this all happened. <laughs> like, literally one hour ago, I got a text message from a friend that had said, Eric... Uh, you need to watch this video by another YouTube creator. They have some things to say about Nomad Internet. And I was I was driving, okay? So I got home 15 minutes later, pulled it up on the TV, watched this video. I will actually uh, link the video below. It's from another RVer, Robin, from RV Creativity. Creativity RV, I think is what it's called. And uh, uh, you can watch the video in its entirety. She talks about it right at, right at the beginning. And uh, I watched it. I got goosebumps, the hair on my arm stuck up, and I just froze and I shook. <laughs> if this is just one person telling me some information. Well, not even really telling me the information, just flashing a picture of somebody that I've been dealing with personally uh, with my sponsorship in Jaden Garza of Nomad, the CEO of Nomad Internet, right? And then uh, I, I think Robin handled it really well. She said, uh, you know, I don't want to bash the company, but... Uh, you do your own research. Go on to Reddit and do your research. And so it took me all of 10 minutes to to do something. I was actually able to what looks like match a Jaden Garza, the CEO of Nomad Internet, with a Josh Garza who was busted and went to prison for a year and a half for a Ponzi scheme with another company in 2015. So what, seven, eight, eight, eight years ago. And uh, I hadn't confirmed anything. Uh, I instantly tried to email Robin. I still have not heard back from her, but I'm like, is this what you're trying to say? Do you have some more proof that links the two names together? Or what, what's going on here? My next step is, man, I'm just going to reach out to Jaden personally. So I email him. I send him an email. I said, hey, I found this information. A couple people think you're this person and that you and that you got caught with this and that you're now the CEO of Nomad Internet. Uh, can you can you fill me in here? Seven minutes, seven minutes later, I got an email back from the CEO. I so wish that I could just show you the email on there, but obviously I don't want to get in trouble because I think there is a there's a sense of, of privacy involved in the email, but what I'm about to tell you, I can share with you because I can back it up with the email. So that's how, that's how I'm, well, I'm going to, I'm going to kind of paraphrase it, right? It's, uh, it's only three paragraphs long. It, it's actually a really short email, but essentially it says, you know, hi, Eric. Uh, I have actually decided to step down as CEO. I will no longer be the CEO of Nomad Internet. Uh, instead, so-and-so is the new CEO of Nomad Internet, starting right now. And uh, I'm going to take our contract with me out the door. And so you're going to have to talk to the new people at Nomad Internet who are taking over and hash out a new deal with them. That's it. There's, there's nothing else in this email. Seven minutes after I sent him that, he didn't address, he didn't, he didn't, 
admit or deny the accusations that I sent in the email. And I'm like, uh, so, so, so that's a weird predicament, right? Uh, except it's not. And I think Robin said it in a way that I could, I couldn't even say it any better than, than she could say it. Two things. First of all, integrity. Okay. I don't care. He just confirmed it. And that, that's what pushed me over the edge. So in this video today is the last time you'll ever hear me even say the two words, nomad internet ever. I'm done. I have integrity. I feel like my viewers want to, to feel like I'm going to be giving them information that's going to help them. And up until an hour ago, I thought I had been for, for three years. Now, my, my, my stomach's in knots. I, I, I was shaking a little. I was literally physically shaking. And, and, it, and it was a horrible feeling. But uh, I have decided to move on from Nomad Internet, although I don't think it matters because... You know, I, I've told someone who apparently is no longer the CEO of the company. Uh, however, I mean, I guess my contract is void, too, if he's taking my contract with me and just not paying me anymore. I mean, OK, maybe that's giving you guys a little bit too much information, but I think you figured it out by now. I get a cutback. I, you know, I make some money because they are one of my channel sponsors. They they were. And now I am simply going to cut them out and uh, be without that source of income, which is going to be a little tricky moving forward in my life on YouTube, but it doesn't matter. There's, there's no other way around it in my, in my opinion. You, you may see differently. You may be like, oh, you got to give him a better chance, Eric. Maybe, maybe he messed up. So they're kicking him out and going to replace him with better. No, no, he is the, he's the founder of Nomad Internet. He has been the CEO. And actually, I believe he still is. He's just trying to, uh, take a step back because I think this video that Robin posted uh, is getting a lot more publicity than he'd really like. And now you're hearing it from another creator. Uh, so again, uh, I'm going to be stepping away from Nomad Internet. Where does that lead me for uploading videos? Well, I'm stuck to my phone and Starlink. <laughs> Starlink is not going to work full time because you have to set it up everywhere every time you use it. And that's not going to work everywhere. Actually, it doesn't even work here. There's too many trees here for the for Starlink to work well enough. It says there's obstructions every 28 seconds or something, interruptions. So um, in the meantime, uh, if there are any companies out there that my viewers can recommend to me, uh, something with a quick turnaround, and I can order some parts, so, or, you know, order a router and a SIM card and get that set up. Uh, there, if there's another company that you guys trust, leave a, leave a comment below in the video description. I've got some holes in my life that need to be filled. Not just financially, but, but as in I have to upload videos obviously, and I'm just cutting out my main source of internet, uh, and it all just happened in less than 60 minutes here, and uh, making this video pretty much raw, just kind of letting you know. I'm not, I'm not waiting. I'm not saying, uh, let, let's, let's wait a couple months and get a couple more paychecks because I don't have a backup plan. I'm not doing that. I'm literally saying, I mean, it's, it's all but void, but I haven't confirmed that it's void. I need to, I need to talk with the new CEO taking over and find out. So, it's void, right? He's taking my contract, but you're not paying me. I'm not talking, so we're done. We're done. But 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 I'm telling you that I am done endorsing them now that I know, now that I know this information. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't I didn't mean to give you recommend a company that that was that was bad. I I didn't know until 60 minutes ago. Like I said, I I'm sorry, guys. I will I'll be back. Whoop.